What's going on guys? Retax message here. I hope I have a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. These are some of the Pokemon I want to see in Pokemon Unite at release or, you know, even like a couple months after release, depending on, you know, how frequently they want to add in different Pokemon. Uh, we got a good amount during the beta, but these are just ones I want to see added in at some point. Obviously, there is like 800 Pokemon. There's many different possibilities. These are just ones I want to see. So getting right into it for the three starters here with uh, Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. Uh, I want to see them because honestly, they're my favorite starters. Aside from Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard, which are already in the game. But I see Skeptile being an all-rounder, Blaziken as an attacker, and Swampert as a defender. Obviously, without getting into like different types of move sets or anything like that, just based off of the games themselves that I have, uh, you know, played, being Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire. Emerald being my favorite Pokemon game to this day. I haven't played really the newer ones. I stopped at Platinum, but Emerald, one million percent, was my favorite. And like I said, without getting into any move sets or anything like that, this is just how I see them being with their role in Pokemon Unite. Let me know if you agree with this one, guys. The next one being the Golem line, Geodude and Graveler, and obviously Golem here, being Defenders, which is super obvious, right? I mean, Golem in-game isn't like the craziest Pokemon to grab, but I think in Pokemon Unite, it would be a great, obviously, defensive Pokemon to add in, right? Add in that Rock element. Because we don't really have much. I think we have Crustle, which is uh, rock or ground. I honestly don't know Crustle. Uh, he's a little bit newer. But I think Golem would be a great addition. And let me know if you guys do agree with this. And like I said a couple times before, without getting into move sets or abilities or anything like that. Of course, you can't forget having a support Pokemon. So I'm thinking of the Victory Bell line here. You know, with the poison and the sleeping, the paralysis type of thing. I think it fits. I think the Bell Sprout line here or the Victory Bell line fits for Pokemon Unite. Of course, there's many others that you could add in, like Oddish and Gloom and uh, Vileplume there, which kind of has the same, you know, whole aspect of paralysis or sleeping or poison. But I think Victory Bell, you know, you don't see often, right? You don't see the love for the Victory Bell line here. So I think it would be a great addition. Now, this one here was tough to judge whether or not I wanted to have them be attackers or defenders for the Needle Queen and Needle King line here. So, I honestly went with All Rounder simply because they are, you know, kind of tanky, but you could have really good attacks and attack um, power there with both of them here you know the in-game like a uh, double kick or earthquake type of thing so i went with all rounder but i could see them being defenders or attackers obviously not support and obviously not you know speedy at all so i went with all rounder let me know if you agree with this guys i think it could go uh to any of the three there attack defend or all rounder for this next one here i put the slacking line slack off and vigoroth here now, I put defensive and attack, or defender and attacker, not all rounder because they're not really like speedy, speedy. You know, Vigoroth maybe, but Slacking, once you get to there and you evolve, the speed aspects isn't there. But I would say the attack and defensive overall probably works. Maybe not so much with Vigoroth and Slackoth for the defensive side, but Slacking, I could definitely see that as being like a you know, a tank or attacker. Let me know what you guys think, because this one's kind of tricky here, only because the evolutions are, you know, vastly different, in my opinion, of course, right? This is all opinion-based. I don't have to be right or wrong about anything. This is just what I see them as. Let me know if you kind of agree with this, because it's a little iffy. And getting into our last one, the Shed Ninja line here with Nakata and Ninjask being speedsters, which, Makes sense. Everybody knows this makes a lot of sense here. Especially, 
I don't want to get into abilities, but especially with their ability where every turn it gets, you know, they get their speed increased. I can't think of the ability name. But like, even without getting into it, you just kind of figure it belongs with like Talonflame in game. I think this would be a super sick line to have. Even though Ninjas doesn't directly evolve into Shed Ninja without uh, something special happening, you'd have certain items or whatever. Even if they didn't add in Shed Ninja, I think Nikata into Ninjask would be super cool to have, honestly. And kind of gives little aspects of the different types, you know, ground, flying, and ghost. I think it would be super sick to see him as speedsters. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously not like crazy with the attack or defense, but being able to maneuver around the map super quickly, fast attacks, anything like that would suit them perfectly. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of them. Obviously, we don't need to find the comments. This is all opinion based. And I just wanted to bring this out there. And like I said way earlier on, there's 800 Pokemon. There's many different ones that you could put in place with these. These are just some of the ones I want to see. Maybe I could do a part two or three. But for now, this is just what I want to see. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all soon.